Uh, without using any more time, I'm going to uh, introduce uh, and invite Albert Heaney to, to come to the stage. Albert is our Director of Social Services and Integration, as, as many of us know. He is also um, a former Director of Social Services in Caerphilly and a former President of ABFS currently. So, Thank you. Albert. Thank you. <laughs> Colleagues, you will appreciate now that we're not good on time. Um, my colleague has been frantically waving his five minute, one minute, and been totally ignored. Now, if I ignore him towards this presentation, I know that you will never forgive me for leaving this arena late this evening. So I'm going to be a bit more concise than I had planned, uh, but happy to talk to you into the, the later evening if you wish. Now, there's a few things I just want to say quickly then. One is, I'd like to thank Neil as president and uh, you as Association of Directors of Social Services Cymru and the Welsh Local Government Association for your professional leadership and your political leadership. There's been some absolutely outstanding discussions over the last uh, 48 hours and there are certainly some key messages um, that have been given across the R social care arena to take back and, and indeed I heard some of those really powerful messages coming from Council David and, and others on the panel earlier on which I thought were particularly insightful and constructively helpful to us. I wanted to spend a little bit of time paying tribute to people who are retiring, um, but I'm now going to do the speed version of that. Uh, there are some people in Wales who have contributed an enormous amount to us and our agenda. Um, they've also given a, a career lifetime to helping us improve. Uh, Rain, who, who now leads the Care Council for Wales, Amelda, who's now leaving the inspectorate, and also our very own from the Welsh Government, Margaret Provis, uh, repart, retired but a few weeks ago after giving an absolute dedication. I know also that you, you have had a number of directors who have retired uh, over the last year, and although I'm not, I have got names here, I'm not going to go through them personally, but I have to say some of them were very, very valued colleagues by both myself and yourselves, and they are missed greatly, but we also have a, a wonderful talent of new directors coming through that come into our, our, our arena and our family. I'm now bringing into play our Welsh language translation, so I am going to do that bit in full, so uh, please colleagues, Pronhound our pawb, mine blesser board am our heddiw, a round valk, o gael siarad gyda ci, a duedd can hadleth loidi anis iawn, mine gyfler i edrych ar, ein gwaith gydyn gilydd, Heed Amma, a meddle sit gied waithio, on a davodal er mount kavlauni, the mark on hadleth Amma, canal bointio or bobble on ein gwaith. Roin covier hurry I mar, oid on blind me breed honey. Clavlaunier bill guasanithi, come dithasol a clessient. Dacrai Gwaithio, Arabel, Rael Aidio, Ak Aralugi. Keb Nogi, Keed Wythio, Rung Gwasanitho, Kum Dithasel, Ak Yakid. Agovali, Board Goval, Kum Dithasel, Cymru. Un, Gunal i Adwi, Anna Tom Moore here, Tippin o Wyth, Er Moin, Gwetha, Goval, a cometh am hungry. Gan Edric, ano, ara, agenda, hono. Best seed, you well nar, roing well sector. Seed where he summed on line, crin dipin. Droy, gied wifeo. Oh, that plugin, papper gwin. Gwathanaithai cam daithaso, cunad i adwi, cam gumri. For am waith gwaith ready, i a gwaith gidin gilf, i linio codai a ri alor i adai, dan ddeth doi fil i'n deg pedwar. Mae'n chon wedi bord am ymbrych ar y cyd, rydw i am ddiolch i ci. 
am a Ford Ruddick Wedig Giddy Gwythio, E Gavlauni, Ein Nodai Arakid. Seisneg now, back to English folks. Um, they, there, is, there is an important in using the Welsh language in the conference. I hope you notice that I'm getting slightly better over the years. So hopefully this time next year, well, we'll keep, keep developing. But in Wales, we, we pride ourselves on our, on, our, on our approach, on our culture. And, and we are delighted that the new Social Services and Wellbeing Wales Act is now in place. We believe that changes everything for us. It transforms the way we, we should work. It's the statutory responsibilities. And it puts absolutely this conference three theme, which is to put people at the heart of what we do through co-production, citizen voice and control, and really thinking through some of the prevention and early intervention. But the act is the law. It's our requirement. The way we do business is about us and our partnership and how we work together to make this a reality in Wales. Now that doesn't mean that some things are easy, some things will be challenging, but it is through working together and an absolute given commitment that we have as a social care wider family to begin to deliver the changes that are happening. Of course, you've heard throughout this conference, we have the Social Service and Wellbeing Wales Act. We now have the Wellbeing and Future Generations legislation in place. And of course, we were delighted earlier this year to now have delivered the Regulation and Inspection of Social Care Wales Act. And again, that act now moves into developing the subordinate legislation. And we're delighted with the work that you and we have worked together to contribute it. And I thank you for that. Following technical groups, we now will be going out to are out for consultation in relation to the workforce and the registration elements. Um, for you, for us, we really value your contributions and we will be delighted to receive your feedback. Of course, the Act establishes Social Care Wales. This is a new approach for us as a sector, um, but importantly, I think it's about a drive forward together to improve in key areas. And, and we've tried to ensure that we give Social Care Wales a running start. Uh, many of you will have been supporting the work on transition and improvement. And we believe, and I believe strongly, that for us in our sector, the Social Care Wales is now a major opportunity for us in this room. We need to grasp that opportunity. It provides to reshape how we deliver better outcomes for the people of Wales and strengthen our skilled workforce. To achieve all we want to achieve, we need to turn our attention to partnership, working and collaboration. In many ways, this is our biggest opportunity. We heard much uh, at the conference yesterday about the barrier sometimes to the immunity to change. Uh, that is something for all of us to, to take away from this conference and think, how do, do I uh, develop my thinking in relation to my partners? And I believe successful partnership is all about attitudes and behaviours. And it's about our attitudes and our behaviours. And we as leaders must take every opportunity to demonstrate the attitudes and behaviours that will help us work together as colleagues across social care, health, housing and the third sector to deliver real and lasting change uh, for the people of Wales. So uh, again, that is a, a commitment that we, we, we share. To help us work through this, the creation of the regional partnership boards and I invite you that to enable us to work as one public sector to deliver the act and its aims is we need collectively to engage and support the regional partnerships as they explore the immense potential opportunities opened up by this collaboration and partnerships. I acknowledge and share our concerns at a time of austerity. Um, that has been a very core message throughout this conference. Um, there is a great understanding shared by this uh, arena and family that we live and are operating at a time of, of a particularly harsh austerity. Um, there have been a number of measures that have been used to try and assist us, some additional monies into the revenue support grant, but what we really need to do is, I think, two things. One, 
take forward from the discussions that we've been having, address the issues and discussions we're having around the national living wage, but to work together to look at what the funding pressures are, but equally to work together to, alongside that, side by side, to look at what the transformational opportunities are in terms of how we can do business differently to improve outcomes. And I think the two conversations need to, this is my view, you may share it, I think it's important to have them running side by side so that we deliver the kind of real change that this legislation and this country has decided as our collective journey together. Alongside this, when we talk about transformation, is transformation something new in Wales? Well, actually it's not. There's lots of great work going on. Um, I've been proud, I've been privileged uh, on some of the visits that, that I've been able to, to go out in and have discussions. Um, how wonderful visit up in North Wales to a single point of access. Um, they were fabulous. They were telling me what the act meant. I loved it, folks. I have to say apologies for, for waxing lyrical, but I really loved it because the, not just it wasn't just the description, it was the passion. It was that passion that makes Wales special and makes, makes our professionals uh, deliver in a way to achieve outcomes and positive outcomes for, for our citizens. I, I visited a number of initiatives uh, again in South Wales, uh, had a wonderful visit across some of the, the hub activity that Councillor David was referring to earlier on. And, and I have to say, when you journey home tonight, you know, be, be assured that across Wales there are some fantastic stories of really good practice. Of course, there's much for us to do together. There's much for us to, to take forward. Um, but it is important to acknowledge that we've made real improvements to the daily lives of, of our citizens. Um, you will have noticed lots of changes down at Welsh Government. Um, it's a political time in following the election. Um, and what we're trying to do, colleagues, you'll have seen that the, there's now the uh, appointment of the Cabinet Secretary for Communities and Children. And this reflects our desire to see tangible improvements in the life chances of our children, particularly focus on the first thousand days uh, of, of life. Uh, but there is no doubt that all of us for a, quite a considerable time have been sharing the agenda around how do we improve the, the life chances for, for children and deliver better outcomes. And one of the areas that we are uh, determined to work together with colleagues across the sector is in relation to to our, our children and young people who, who are uh, looked after and have corporate parenting. And it's really important upon us all and our duty is to really make sure that we meet and address uh, the needs of those children and young people. People have talked about statistics. Uh, I don't know if Dan is now still here or if he's had to go, but, but we, only, we only have 60% um, of children who, uh, which is improvement. It's a good improvement. We have 60% of children, young people, who come through as, as care leavers in either employment, education, or training. Um, my desire is to see that at 100%. It's got to be something that we, we work together upon because you know, the, we know the outcomes and some of those information have been shared with you. I'm going to move then straight through the conclusion comments, uh, which I'm, 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 I, I think are, are, are the kind of key highlights for me. When we started the sustainable social services journey, uh, but a few years ago, uh, we were looking at demographic change, changing expectations, the pressures that were coming our way. I, I still think that we're now, whilst we're now in the demographic change, we're still facing those particular um, challenges, but, but we do so now in a different context, and that context is a, is a real achievement around the primary legislation in Wales, a structural change and a cultural change of collaboration. Uh, and I'm convinced that our agenda is not a reactive one in Wales, but we are traveling together with a shared purpose and a shared destination to improve the care and support for people in Wales. This will indeed mean working through our regional partnership boards, using the, the, the excellent experience through Social Care Wales, intermediate care funds, to tackle tough, stubborn issues like um, delayed transfers of care and also then look into how we improve the life chances of, of children in Wales. Colleagues, we are not taking forward minor changes or managing business as usual. We are engaged in a fundamental rethinking cultural change of social care. We us are at the centre of that transformation and for many of us 
It will define our careers. As leaders, this is our moment to be tested. Those that will succeed us will rightly ask, did we grasp the opportunity or not? I am confident and heartened through the conversations uh, at this conference and the work we have seen across Wales that we are well placed to deliver the responsibility that has fallen to us as leaders and ensure that the transformation of social care in Wales is a reality with a skilled and supported workforce delivering for the people of Wales. Diolch